I'm Lanre Lassesi. Welcome to the gavel. The National Assembly is still on shutdown with lawmakers still observing their two weeks recess. A committee of the House of Representatives were, however, in River State as part of an ongoing investigation. But the burning issue right now is the face-off between the National Assembly and the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola. And what is this about? Well, it's about the budget and the extent to which the National Assembly should be able to alter that document. That will be our major focus this week. Let's take our first report on the investigations being conducted by the House Committee on Public Procurement. The House of Representatives Committee on Public Procurement has been investigating allegations of abuse and violations of Public Procurement Act 2007 in the engagement of contractors for pre-shipment inspection and monitoring of crude oil and gas export from Nigeria. The committee visited companies in River State on verification and physical inspection of the laboratories and infrastructure of all companies on pre-shipment inspection of crude oil and gas export. It's a follow-up to an ongoing investigation by the House of Representatives Committee on Public Procurement into allegations of violations of the Procurement Act 2007. As members of the committee led by its chairman arrive for a physical inspection of laboratories and facilities to verify claims of public procurement and several companies that have already appeared before it. The committee is looking to ensure that among other issues, proper procedures are followed and sharp practices are detected and addressed in pre-shipment inspection of gas export and monitoring and evaluation in crude oil export. The House, through a resolution, mandated the House Committee on Public Procurement to investigate the allegation of violation of provisions of Public Procurement Act, you know, as regards engagement of uh, pre-shipment inspectors and monitors. So we are here to, you know, to find out the truth over the claims of these um, applicants and the existing existing agents. Some claim they had the laboratories, their personnel, their infrastructure. In some cases, we find such claims to be true. In some other cases, we find those claims not to be true, as we draw up our reports for the House consideration. The committee chairman says this is a fight against corruption. The resolution of the House was based on complaints, on petitions by other applicants that have been shortchanged in the exercise. What do you take to achieve that of this? We want to ensure compliance. We want to ensure that the wrongs are right. That's what, I mean. That's what the House is set to achieve. We want to ensure that our laws work. We want to strengthen institutions. This exercise is how to come, is to, is to wage war against corruption in the land. Abuse of office. It's out of the nine places we've been to, we've seen those who claim to have laboratories and infrastructure. Yes, we found so we found them to be correct, to be true. And we also find those who claim to have such infrastructure not to be so, not to be true. We've, we found out that some of those companies actually they are, in, they, are in a, they are borrowing other, other labs. You know, you also saw it yourself. The House is expected to continue its investigations in the relevant agencies and companies and present its findings on the floor. Mm -hmm. 